Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I share these what's for dinner videos every week to hopefully give you guys some inspiration, dinner ideas, motivation to cook more for your family. Any recipes that I use are always linked down below. Now let's go ahead and get into this week's what's for dinner. Okay, it is Saturday night and tonight for dinner we are trying a new instant pot recipe. I've got it out. This is a recipe from Pressure Look Cooking here on YouTube. I will leave the original recipe down below, even though I'm changing some things up. So here is that. So to start off, you need, it says four tablespoons of butter, but I am not using the shallots. So I'm only going to use two tablespoons of butter. And then we need a pound of sausage. I'm just using this regular pork sausage. I'm not going to break it up like super small. I'm going to try to leave it in like bigger pieces. Got some garlic. And then I've got four cups of chicken broth. He said you could do three cups of broth and then some white wine. But we're just going to do the broth because that's what I have. We've got some Italian seasoning, parsley. And then since I'm not doing the shallots, I'm going to do onion powder. We've got our noodles. I'm using penne. It's sausage and shells, but... Haven't been able to find shells, so we're going to do penne. And then I've got 10 ounces of grape tomatoes and some spinach. And then at the end, once it's all done cooking, he recommended the borzen garlic and herb cheese. But Walmart was out, so they substituted this one. So I'm going to use this instead. And you're going to need a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream and some Parmesan cheese. And I think I mentioned everything. So to get started, I've got my two tablespoons of butter in here. I'm going to turn this on to more and saute and get my sausage in there. We're not going to fully brown it, but we're going to get it mo mostly browned with the minced garlic. Okay, I let this cook for about two minutes. It's not fully cooked, but it's most of the way cooked. And as you can see, I kind of left like bigger chunks because he used like sausage links that he just like cut into pieces. So I kind of left, tried to leave it as bigger chunks. So now I am going to add in one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half of a teaspoon of parsley, uh, two teaspoons of onion powder, and our broth and our grape tomatoes. Okay, I got all that stirred together. Now we are done stirring it. I'm going to add in my one pound of noodles and just press them into the liquid, but we are not going to stir it again. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm going to add some spinach. He said five ounces. I'm gonna do two handfuls. Because I don't know how many ounces are here. And I think my family will prefer if it has less spinach. So I'm just going to do, yeah, that looks good. And then it will cook with it being on top, even though it's not really pushed down into the liquid. It'll just kind of like steam it. So now the lid is going to go on it. And we are going to pressure cook this on manual for six minutes. Okay, this is done. I'm going to do a quick release and then we will open it up, get it all stirred up. And I have measured out my one third cup of cream, one and a half cups of the grated Parmesan. And then I have this cheese, which as I said, he recommended the Borson. I have this one. The Borson is only five ounces. This is six and a half ounces. So I'm gonna leave some of this and not do all of it. And we're just gonna mix all that in and let it sit for about five minutes so everything can thicken up 
and then it'll be ready to eat. Okay, here it is all plated up and I already tried it and you guys, it is so delicious. Like the sharpness from the Parmesan cheese and this cheese that I used are just really good. But I did forget to mention, um, if you can't find the Borsen or the other cheese that I use, he did recommend that you could just use five ounces of cream cheese and that it would be fine. But I think that cheese really helped like give it some more flavor. As I said, it's delicious. So these are the kids plates and Andy's plate and there's still quite a bit in there. It is Saturday and tonight's dinner is going to be a pretty easy one as you can see I have some chicken legs in my instant pot and I have coated them with some barbecue sauce and some salt and pepper. I used this Fox Brothers barbecue sauce but you could use whatever you like. I just got this on Markdown so I'm using it up. It's pretty good. Not my favorite, but it's not terrible. So we've got that in there. And in the very bottom, I have about a cup of water underneath the trivet. We don't want our chicken sitting in the water. So that's why I have my little trivet thing in there. And they're up out of the water. We just gotta have water in here when we're cooking in the pressure cooker. So I'm going to put the lid on this and cook it on manual for 13 minutes and then let it do a natural release for 10. And then once they come out of here, I'm going to turn the broiler on on my oven, coat them with some more barbecue sauce, and cook them for like three to five minutes on each side under the broiler just to get them nice and crispy. And to go with that tonight, I already made some baked potatoes in my air fryer. These took about 30 minutes. So they are crispy on the outside, but nice and soft on the inside. And then I'm going to make a can of green beans. Okay, so here's our finished dinner from the chicken night. I don't know what happened to my video. I had a video. I'm not sure what happened to it. I also had video of me like flipping over the chicken and putting more barbecue sauce on it. But as I said, I broiled these. I actually did them for five minutes on each side with the barbecue sauce. And then we've got our baked potatoes with some cheddar cheese, some bacon. And then instead of sour cream, I actually have some of that garlic and herb cheese that I used on the night with the Instant Pot sausage and noodle thing and it was really good on that baked potato and then as i said i made a can of green beans and that's what we had for dinner this night it is sunday and as you can see tonight we are having tacos for dinner we made it super simple by having this pork carnitas uh i get this at kroger i haven't i don't think i bought it in a while but that's probably because i haven't been shopping at kroger that much but usually this is like $7.50, so whenever I can find it on Markdown, I will pick it up because it is really, really good. So I got it for $4.50, and I've already made mine and the kids' tacos, so there's plenty of meat for Andy to make his tacos. And then, of course, we've got our Spanish rice that I make in the Instant Pot. And then I just heated up a can of refried beans, got some cheese on top of mine. So in my taco shell, I have the pork carnitas, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. And then Elijah just wanted lettuce on one taco, not both. 
and Lily just wanted tomato on one taco, not both. But that is going to be our taco dinner for Sunday. For Monday night's dinner, we had salads with chicken and I just cooked this chicken the way I always do it. I put a little bit of olive oil and butter in my pan. This time I used my cast iron and I seasoned the chicken with Body I Complete and Tony's Creole seasoning. The two combined just make really good, flavorful chicken. So then we chopped that up. Had that over some lettuce with some different toppings. We've got cheese and radishes and cucumbers and carrots. And then Lily doesn't like lettuce. So she just had like a little snack plate kind of like all the toppings of the salad just without the actual lettuce. And that was dinner for Monday. It is Tuesday and tonight for dinner I'm going to be making a pizza pasta casserole similar to how I've done it in the past. Tonight I'm using ground beef because I didn't have any sausage thought out. So ground beef is what we are using. Um, I'm gonna season it up with some garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flakes, and Italian seasoning and salt and pepper. And then once that's cooked up, I'm going to add in some pepperoni and pizza sauce. And then once my noodles are done, I'm boiling some water back here for some elbows. Um, I will mix everything together add in some mozzarella cheese, and then toss it in the oven for like 25 minutes. Keeping it really simple tonight and this is all we're having. So here are mine and Andy's plates and here are the kids' plates and there's still a bit left over. That is going to be dinner for Tuesday. It is Wednesday night and tonight for dinner we are trying another recipe from Pressure Luck. After the sausage and shells or penne, whatever you want to call it because I use penne noodles, I had to go out, not go out, I had to go to Amazon and buy his cookbook. So it's the step-by-step instant pot cookbook and I actually had already planned to make this recipe it's on a YouTube video that I found um, but it's also in the cookbook so this is just easier to follow than the video or just printing out the recipe why would I print it when it's in the cookbook that I bought it came really really fast it was only like $13 and every single recipe has step-by-step -step pictures which is amazing I love it. The only thing that I don't love so much is it is paperback. The paper is like thick, nice paper, but it's hard to make it like lay open. So I know with use that'll like be better, but like right now it's kind of hard to get it to lay open. So this is Hungarian goulash. I wanted a recipe that used a chuck roast that wasn't Mississippi pot roast because every time I have a chuck roast, I always use it for Mississippi pot roast. But um, the one in, at Sam's Club come with two in the pack, so the last one I made a Mississippi pot roast. When I saw this recipe and saw that it used chuck roast, I knew I had to make it. So we've got one chuck roast, it's probably like two to three pounds of chuck roast, and we've cubed it up because that's what he says to do. He says that you could also use like beef stew meat or something, so that's what we're doing, chuck roast. So I'm going to list the ingredients, I'm leaving some things out and changing it up just a little bit. He says four tablespoons of butter, 
divided. So I have two in my Instant Pot. It looks a little dirty in there because I just made rice and I'm not going to like completely wash this if I'm going to use it again. Um, rice is over here staying warm for us. Got two tablespoons of butter. It's already kind of melted a little bit. And we are going to saute our onion. He says one large onion. I have half of a large onion and it's just like sliced like this, so big pieces. So we're going to saute that. And then we've got some paprika. And then he says caraway seeds. I'm leaving that out because it's not something that I have. And we've got the meat. And then he says half a cup of dry red wine. Leaving that out and instead doing two cups instead of one and a half cups of beef broth. So this is hot water that I mix with the beef base. And then we need two cups of baby carrots. A can of diced tomatoes. I'm doing petite diced. Some ketchup. Brown sugar, which I'm not going to do all of the brown sugar. He calls for three tablespoons. I think I'm going to do half that because I don't want it to be too sweet. Some white vinegar seasoned salt, black pepper, cornstarch, and water will be added at the end to thicken the sauce. And then he says to serve this over egg noodles. Cannot find egg noodles anywhere in the store. So instead, as you saw, I made the white rice. So we're gonna serve this over white rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on sauteing my onion. I forgot to record the clip of me pouring in the cornstarch, but I put this on saute and then let it come to a bubble and then added in the cornstarch mixed with water and it thickened up pretty nicely. And then as I said, we served this over rice and it was delicious. It was such a good use of that chuck roast and we absolutely love this. Definitely would recommend this recipe. It is Thursday and tonight for dinner, we are going to be having these like ranch pork chops and potatoes. It's a sheet pan meal. The last time I made this, I decided not to use the whole package of ranch. So I actually have half of a package of ranch left over from that. So I'm gonna be using this. And then I added some Tony's Creole seasoning. So that's what I'm going to do tonight because last time we made it, it was very, very good. So um, I cut up my potatoes. This is, I think like five or six potatoes cut into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna coat them with some olive oil, get some of that seasoning on there spread them out so that they're on the sides and leave room in the middle for my pork chops and then I'm going to season my pork chops on both sides with some of the ranch and the Tony's as well oh and I forgot I'm gonna add garlic this time too I think that there's garlic in this but we like garlic yeah there is garlic we like garlic so I'm gonna add a little bit of extra garlic and then this is gonna cook for 25 to 30 minutes on 400 degrees
Okay, they took 25 minutes to cook, and to go with it, I made some zucchini, of course. It's got Body of Complete and Tony's Creole seasoning on it, and then we've got our pork chops and potatoes. That is going to be dinner for Thursday. And that is going to wrap up another week of what's for dinner. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below so you can come back and see my future videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.